Hello everyone, welcome back. All right guys, so I'm going to try to please <laughs> as many of you guys as possible, my OG viewers and my new subscribers that just subscribe for the 11th Gen Civic. I also want to welcome you guys. Welcome to the Honda fam. I'm happy to have y'all. But I also have to please my OG subscribers that love the EFs and the old Hondas. So in today's video, we are going to be working on the black rat rod wagon. This video, of course, will go out on Sunday, which is my regular upload schedule. And also there will be a 11 Gen Civic video on the following Wednesday after the wagon video. So I'm trying to get a video out for both of you guys during the week and the old school OGs and the new news so yeah it's really interesting to make content on really old Hondas and a really new Honda but I'm down for it you just have to bear with me oh my god this truck's so loud anyways if y'all could please just bear with me I'm gonna try to get videos out for both of y'all during the week when I usually only upload once a week, I'm going to start trying to upload twice a week. But anyways, y'all get the point. I'm sorry. But today, we're going to be working on the Rat Rod Wagon once again. We're going to make some more progress on this thing. I do plan to paint the trim, um, basically the door moldings, the side skirts, the windshield cowl, and the windshield wiper arms. I'm not ready to paint the bumpers yet. They're just not ready yet. I need to put some more work in on those and I haven't had a chance yet, but soon those will get sprayed as well. But also what I want to do first is just take the wagon for a drive because if y'all remember, we found that broken injector wire and repaired it. So now she's running on all cylinders and I want to know if this thing feels a lot better than it did before because it felt terrible. You would floor it and it literally just like wouldn't go anywhere. So I'm hoping that helped. I don't know, I wanna find out. Also, I'm just kinda of dreading uh, taping this thing off again. So I kinda of just wanna do something a little more fun first. But yeah, we're gonna do that. And yeah, do the trim. And also I might start cleaning the interior. Probably gonna take the seats out and take them to the car wash and spray them down. Get all the crap off of them. So yeah, we're just gonna make some more progress on the wagon. Like usual, a little at a time, but we're getting there. But yeah, I gotta steal the battery from the other wagon, pop it in here, air up the tires, and we should be good to go for a drive. So let's get to it. Hello, hello, hello. Nothing in there. What the Get my muscles out for this. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I have to take the freaking bracket off. We aired up the tires, torqued the lug nuts, topped off the fluids, and put a battery in here. So I think we're ready to go for a drop.
Take it for a rip now. We get to see it from the outside. Here we go. That sounds awful. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna get on this side of the road. Here we go. shifts and then it like bogs down and doesn't go it's so weird I've never like I've had some shot before we get in trouble <laughs> nobody saw that right oh my god is that good enough that was great <laughs> well that was interesting <laughs> reverse donuts not bad not bad <laughs> Well guys, I'm definitely gonna be losing money when I sell this car. I'm really hoping y'all are enjoying the content cause this thing's junk. It's okay though. I mean, we're still saving an EF. I know it's like an EE, but EF, EE, same crap. We're saving it. At least it's gonna be back on the road, hopefully. But yeah, I am kind of like, am I wasting my time doing this? But as long as y'all are enjoying it, I'm cool with it. So now that we had our fun, I think we're gonna go ahead and start taping off the trim i forgot to mention earlier you need to tape off the door handles as well the molding the side skirts i don't know if i'm gonna do the cow right now because it's a little complicated it's either i take it off of the car and risk breaking it or i leave it on the car and try to tape around it and paint it i'm not sure yet but yeah i'm also gonna paint the trim that goes around the rear quarter window and yeah so i'm just gonna go ahead and start taping up and i will update you guys when i'm done guys or happy holidays y'all won't actually see this until the day after christmas but i still hope you guys enjoyed your holiday it's crazy because it's literally 81 degrees on christmas that's kind of nuts but i'm really enjoying it it feels really good outside i don't like being cold so that works for me but last night guys as y'all can see behind me i spent the day masking off the rat rod wagon to get her ready to paint the trim well get it ready so I can paint the trim. I wish it would paint itself, but probably won't. <laughs> but yeah, it's all masked off. I'm gonna be painting the door handles, the door moldings, the side skirts, and the trim around the rear quarter windows. I'm also gonna be painting the wiper arms, but I haven't even gotten them out yet, so I need to get those out. But right now, I'm gonna go spend some time with the family and watch the nieces and nephews and the fam open presents. And then once I get back, I will start spraying the trim and we'll get it done today so I can get this video out for you guys tomorrow. So that is the plan. I'm probably not going to mess with any interior stuff in this video. 
I do actually just want to start the next video on this car, just like all interior related. So I think I'll just save it for that video. Yeah, we're getting close guys. The outside of this car is getting so close to being completed. I just need to get them bumpers done and sprayed and then there's some other things, but for the most part, she's almost there. But anyways guys, I will update you guys when I get back home. Oh my God guys, guess what just happened? Hopefully I'm in the frame. I'm using my phone to record this and I don't know if I'm in the frame. But anyways, my grandpa gave me his Mitsubishi 3000 GT VR4 twin turbo all wheel drive for Christmas as a Christmas gift. This is my new car. I'm so excited. We worked on this car with him to get it running when he first got it. So it's already a special car to me, but now I own it and I want to bring it back to life because it's been sitting in these weeds for years and a car like this deserves to be on the road. So let me show you guys how it looks real quick. It's blue of course. I love blue cars and so I'm really excited that this one's blue. Ooh, VR4. This poor thing's been getting sun beaten unfortunately but it's okay. Ooh, she's got a pretty nice body though. Twin turbo. And y'all know I love the pop-ups. Well, y'all might not know that, but I do love pop-ups. So I'm excited for this because this car and my Miata are going to look so cute together. Ooh, it's been sitting for a while. Ugh. Here's the interior. It's not the best, but oh well, it's okay. Oh god, what is that wiring down there? That looks like a mess. Ooh, I don't know if I want to sit in here. Ooh, I don't know. Yeah, guys this thing look at all these old school technologies <laughs> not sure where the glove box is it only has 104,000 miles <laughs> dang check this out guys that's pretty fancy <laughs> this car does run or it did run once upon a time but it's like the exhaust was clogged or something that's what it acted like I'm not 100% sure, but that's what my grandpa said, so I believe him. So we're going to try to fix that and see if she can breathe and run a little better. But my grandpa did drive this car down the road, so I'm really hoping we can bring this thing back to life because it's special to me because my grandpa gave it to me and it deserves to be on the road. So y'all are probably going to see some content on this thing soon because we're about to drag this thing out of the field because I'm too excited to just leave it back here. <laughs> my grandpa did give me another car a few years back that is unfortunately still sitting back here that I need to get back to work on. It was actually a car that I dailyed for a while because all my cars were junk and broke down so he let me drive it because he wasn't using it. I drove it for a while and I finally parked it because the turbos kept going out. So I will show y'all the car if I can find it it's somewhere back here but it's a Saab 9.3 turbo automatic maroon the paint's completely faded off but it was a fun car back then my grandpa actually replaced the turbos three times and they all went out so we just kind of gave up on it because without the turbos it like had no power like it wasn't even safe to drive on the road because it just wouldn't go anywhere let me see if i can find it and i'll show you guys i think i see it do y'all see that maroon car over there i don't know if i can get to it with all these weeds i'm probably gonna get bit by a snake <laughs> i'm gonna try to squeeze through here. Ugh. Oh, and if y'all didn't notice, my grandpa likes 3000 GTs, so the one he's given me isn't the only one he had. Oh, goodness. Y'all see it back there? We call it the Super Sob, and it had a lot of Soblums. <laughs> Once upon a time, I plasti dipped these eyelids on here. That was some years ago. And I also painted the grill black, which has also faded. But yeah, oh, and I put the plate down there. So this is about when I stopped driving it. But here she is, the Saab, the Super Saab. It is the aero version, so it has like the better wheels and it has the high output turbo and all that good stuff. I'm not gonna try to open this thing up because I don't wanna get bit by a snake. But yeah, y'all get the idea. The paint was not this bad <laughs> when I drove it. I'll try to find a picture because it was a time when I had detailed it and it was really shiny and looked good. But that's what happens when you leave a car out in the field for years.
I'm happy to have the trim all painted now. The exterior of this car is really coming together, guys. There's not a lot more we have to do. I am done though because I wanted to spray the wiper arms, but after I completely masked off the entire car and had the plastic all over it, and then I was like, where are those wiper arms? And I was like, oh. They're literally in the passenger floorboard, but at that point I couldn't open the passenger door or any of the doors to get them because of the way I had it masked off, so I was like, I'm a dork. Sorry, but <laughs> it's okay because I still need to paint the windshield cowl and the trim that goes around the windshield, so I guess I'll just paint them at that time. That's my bad, and plus obviously I need to paint the bumpers, so it's not a big deal, but yeah, that's why I didn't do them in this video. I also need to get all those white uh, got race cars out here apparently um i had to take all the white whatever stuff the lines on the tail lights whatever they put on there i took a few off the other day i used the heat gun and it worked really good but it's still gonna be like a long tedious process to get all of them off so that's something i still need to do but what do you guys think it's so crazy the trim paint almost looks the same as the primer like we literally probably could have just primed over all the trim and it would would have looked the exact same but you can tell it has a little more gloss to it but i don't know <laughs> if it was worth all that extra work but it's fine it's done now and it looks a lot better than it did so i'm happy about that oh yeah if y'all noticed that window still taped up that's the window that's busted and there's like a giant hole in it now where there's no glass so i'm just trying to keep it taped up to keep more of the glass from falling off and just to keep it sealed up more so that's gonna have to stay on there i honestly kind of wish we would have just sprayed over that black because it would have looked a lot better but i don't know we'll figure out something with that i'm not sure yet but anyways guys that's gonna wrap it up for this video i really do hope y'all enjoyed y'all's holiday there will be another Civic SI sedan video on Wednesday. I think I mentioned that in the beginning of this video, but just letting y'all know. I'm going to try to do Sunday videos for the oldies and Wednesday videos for the new Civic. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. If y'all like this video and want to see more content on the Rat Rod Wagon, please smash the like button and hit that subscribe button while you're there. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.